My name's Devin, and I'm the senior warranty rep here at Arcteryx. I get asked all the time when you should wash your Gore-Tex pieces, and that's a great question because when you wash something properly, you're going to seriously increase the performance and longevity of your item. So I see that all the time in warranties. Some people can keep their jackets going for years and years if they wash them properly. It's a really common misconception that you shouldn't wash your jacket very often, but that's sort of an old school of thought. In fact, you want to wash your jacket a lot because it's going to increase the performance of your jacket and it's going to increase the longevity of the piece. It's going to last for a lot longer. So there's some really kind of obvious indicators that you can look out for that'll tell you when you have to wash your jacket. The first is, is it wetting out? Do you remember when you first got your jacket and the water would literally bead off of it every time it hit it would bounce off. And then after a while, maybe you started noticing that it would start to soak in every once in a while. Well, that's the face fabric absorbing the water and it means you have to wash and reproof the piece. Um, there's some other things. In the collar, you'll often notice signs of sweat and contamination. That's really bad for the Gore-Tex fabric. And so is dirt. So in the cuffs and in other high wear areas, you notice dirt and stuff getting ground into the material, which is also not so good. There are no rules for when you have to wash your jacket exactly, but you want to use common sense. If you're using your jacket for higher output activities like ski touring or hiking, you're going to want to wash your jacket more frequently. But if you're using it just around town really casually, you won't have to wash it as much. Just keep an eye on the indicators, the obvious signs that you need to wash it. Okay, so before you wash your jacket, there's a couple things you need to do. Preparing a jacket by doing up the main zipper, closing your pit zippers, making sure your pocket zippers are open, and then finishing it off by loosening your elastics and opening your cuffs. To wash your Gore-Tex piece, we recommend you use a proper washing liquid. Hmm, we use Granger's, but there's lots of other brands out there that you can buy at your local outdoor retailer. So for this one, we're gonna use one cap for one piece. And just check the bottle to find out the exact instructions. Okay, now your wash settings. Your water level, in this case, can be set to small. You can use a warm to cold water temperature. Your speed can be set to normal, and your wash cycle can be set to normal as well, or in this case, ultra clean. Now, if you don't have a professional or a proper washing liquid, you can use a regular detergent. Try to find something that's really gentle and make sure to double rinse. That's super important because it gets rid of all the residue which is left on the piece after one wash. Now we wait. So your first step once your jacket is clean is to shake it off. Get all the excess water off of there. And now you make a decision. If your jacket has been performing well in terms of beating the water off the face fabric, all you need to do is put it straight into the dryer. That's a super important step. If it hasn't been beating as well, then you're gonna to need to retreat it with a DWR spray before you put it in the dryer. Okay, so if you're putting it straight in the dryer, it's really easy. Choose a regular temperature setting, and probably choose about 40 minutes. Depends on your dryer, on your particular dryer. Sometimes it'll be a little longer, a little shorter. Either way, you wanna make sure that it is dry to the touch when you pull it out. You may be wondering what DWR means, and that's a good thing, because it's a really important part of the overall performance of your jacket. It stands for durable water repellency, and it's actually a coating which goes onto the outside of the face fabric of your jacket. If you do need to retreat the DWR coating on your jacket, it's a really easy process. First up, hang it on a rack. Make sure all your zippers and stuff are done up. And pull out your DWR reproofing spray. We're using a Granger's one just like the wash we used. Now when you're spraying it on, you can focus on critical areas that uh, that see more abrasion than others. So the, the DWR coating comes off due to washing it and also due to abrasion in everyday wear. So your backpack straps will often wear out the DWR on your shoulders faster than other areas. So spray it on evenly. And if you'd like, you can focus on certain higher wear areas. Don't worry too much about this step of the process. It's very easy. And once you're all done there, you're ready to put it back in the dryer. So that's it. First off, prep your Gore-Tex, 
throw it in the wash, retreat it if necessary, and then always put it in the dryer. If you do this, you take proper care of your Gore-Tex pieces, they're gonna last a lot longer, and the performance is gonna be stellar. So go out there, get it dirty, and then wash it.